Hello everyone, Tovin here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to demod your sound fast. So let's say you have a muddy sound. But that's a very extreme example because this is literally just a saw wave with a peak filter. But let's just imagine you have a muddy sound. Below the maximus. Disable the compression on the low, high and master. And only leave the mid. Then right click here, click on this. As you can see, you can like there is the, the muddy frequency right there. So all you have to do really is to like target it and solo and compress it. Like extremely like this. Play with the time settings. And voila. Now you may be wondering, like, it's gonna mess around with the sound's phase? And yes, it is, because of the cuts, but you can, that's an, there's an easy fix for that, and that's literally by just enabling linear phase. But like, again, this introduces latency, so you can right click on it, linear phase mod speed, and select ultra, or faster. No, this is not gonna be like really fast by any mean, but it's gonna be like fast enough. But yeah, now you may be wondering like, what if you change the note? Like this. Like, will it key track? Of course it's not gonna key track. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't really have to key track it. But if you want to, you can. You'll need an entirely new setup for this, and that's by using Patcher. So I have the Harmer here. Add the same exact Maximus. And then add an Envelope Controller. Activate the first and second Articulator, and activate these knobs as well. This is one, and this is two. So, first disable the envelope, go to key mapping. And this is like a tip that I just discovered. Hold Alt and click on the thing, on anything really, in Patcher so that you can see both. It's like normally when you like double click on one plugin, it will only show that one and like close the other one. But like with this, like hold Alt and stuff, you can like actually see both or multiple. So this is the first knob right here. As you can see, it's following this line here. That's the point, that's key mapping. So this has to be low and slightly like this. And same for the highs, but like a little bit up. As you can see here, it's kind of following it, but again, you don't really have to do this, but if you want to, you can. That's the beauty about having options and FL lets you do that. But yeah, you don't really need this. You can't do it with like single note sounds because it's going to be way more effective that way, but you don't really want to do it on like chords or like pads or things like that. Things that plays multiple notes because that doesn't make sense. Unless if there's already like some like weird technology that kind of key tracks every single note out there, which I'm not sure I might be wrong. You don't have to do this. Okay, you don't want to set this up every single time. You can just delete the synth and save this as a preset. Or you might even not need any of this and just save the Maximus as a preset. I literally have it here. Here, Demodder. So I have an example here. So you may be like, oh, that's that sounds fine and all, but like this is where this D 
Demother preset like really shines on busy mix because if you like start to like remove some of some some elements of uh, 200 to 1k hertz range if you start to like remove some of that frequency on specific elements then your track will be more will feel more clean so this is how everything sounds like without demutter on the on the pad and the respace which sounds fine but i don't really like the the lumi region like it's it's doing some stuff that i don't like kind of clashing in a way and that's how it sounds like with the demutter on the respace on on the pad It's more flat and more clean. So this is the pad that I was talking about. This one. But this is before. And after. And this is the cool thing as well, like you can mix it in. I am pretty sure most of you didn't know about this knob. So I basically isolated this frequency here. And I compressed the hell out of it. It's doing its thing, as you can see. And I can mix it in. Which is epic. And the respace, which is just a respace. But like I wanted a more subby respace. So I isolated this frequency right here. And I compressed it. Like so. Now, it sounds more subby. It's not very like present in the mid range. It's very, it's very, it's it's a it's a sub it's a respace that you feel, and not a respace that you hear, almost at least. But yeah, it's basically kind of like a DSR, but like for other frequencies, which here the case is uh, around uh, 200, 500 or like this low mid in general. Yeah, and you can see how useful it can be on like things like this, like really busy mix. You have a lot of things, you remove some of that frequency on certain elements and it will feel and sound clean. So yeah, that's that's about that. As usual, subscribe and like, and I will see you later. Bye bye.